How's it going everybody? It's Eric here from the MMG. Welcome to our channel. Thank you for checking out our video. Today I'm really happy and really lucky to check out Noble Fates. This is a brand new game that's coming out December 14th on Steam. Make sure you give it a look and give it uh, an add to your wish list if it looks like something you might enjoy. Give a shout out to the developers for hooking us up with an early version. We're going to jump in and uh, check this out. New game. In a far, far away land, mortals vile for control over a physical plane of existence. A collection of gods govern this plane, striving for balance and sharing their powers with those they deem worthy. Denizens of other planes stick their hands and claws in for anything from pleasure to power, support to domination. You are Contra, a demigod with the power to influence and control mortals. Though still a novice, you seek to earn lasting recognition through the creation of the ma uh, sorry of the mightiest of all kingdoms. You haven't had much luck so far. So boring here. Feels like I've been stuck in the smelly corpse for ages. Who knew the worry gorbs were so skilled at archery? Wait, someone's coming. Recently, four mortals, Hagar, Rig, Mo, and Sanda, or Santa, deserted the evil springs to seek a new beginning. With your help, one will be crowned king or queen of a new kingdom this very day. So, Hagar, Rig, why did you leave the evil springs? My issue is that Chancellor Whisper spurns raw humans. I hope we have raw humans again. I bounce because Chancellor Whisper thinks the overripe mill beans are powerful. Santa, hey over there. Or over here. It's Rig, well, 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 what's this? Looks like we've inherited a crown. Who will wear it? As Contra, you get to choose who will lead your new kingdom. You'll have a special connection with your ruler, including the ability to control them directly. Choose wisely. Those with strong negative feelings towards your new ruler will not join your kingdom. But don't worry too much about it. Mortals are replaceable. All right. So our first major decision here, we get to pick a ruler. Let's see. Well, I don't really know. Which one is the best choice? So she's the only one that that uh, shows as a gender. She's female. The other three are non-binary. They all have decent skills, strong opinions. He's got a lot of strong opinions. So let's just, I guess let's look at a strength a strength that's going to be good for leadership. So logging, farming, and hauling. Cleaning, hunting, and ranching. Cleaning, foraging, and logging. Mining, building, and crafting. Well, there's apparently no just like leadership skill. At least that we have unlocked yet, right? Um, I'm, I guess we're going to go a Hagger for building and digging. Well, that makes like, it's like a good worker to me though. Hold on. No, hold on. Let me look at these guys again. Cleaning, foraging, and logging. Cleaning, hunting, and ranching, logging, farming, and hauling. They're all they're all just workers. I mean, let's be honest here. Which is our one we want to work? I guess the builder. You pit you win, Hagger. Okay. Hagger, really? I won't follow you. Okay, well that's interesting. Hold on a second. That may change my mind. Let's see if I pick rig. 
Everybody's cool with rig, okay. Oh, nope, Santa's not cool with rig. Okay, never mind. How about Mo? Oh, so they just don't like each other. Okay. Well, you're my last one, Santa. Will people follow you? Nope. He apparently will only follow himself. So we're going to lose somebody no matter what it looks like. So I'm going to go with my original choice of hacker. Mo, you can, uh... You can leave. It's fine, buddy. Take the crown, my friend. Henceforth, call me Captain Hagger. Oh, hell, Captain Hagger. Hell. Thank you. Thank you. We shall be known as the Growing Butchers. Shay Kingdom. Go by the name Growing Butchers? No. Oh, come on. That's not it. We shall be known as the October Stones. Oh, because this is random. I thought maybe I could pick my own. Well, I, now, now I like Growing Butchers better, knowing it was random. Let's see here. Let's see what we get. The Firing Fantasies. That sounds weird. No. All right. We're going to go with this one no matter what, probably. The Merchant Swallows. <laughs> yes. We have found our name. All right, fine. I see how it is. That rock over there would make a better ruler. I'm out of here, and I'm taking my share of the supplies with me. One second, Mo. Yes, with the supplies. Yes, without the supplies. No, execute him. See, people don't like that stuff, so I'm going to let him go with supplies. Go ahead. We wish you luck and further your adventures. Theater of the Mo ones. Yeah, he's creating his own guild, huh? I see how it is. Fine. Later, Mo. Noble Fates includes a guided experience to help new players start a kingdom that is more likely to succeed. With it, your kingdom will experience a soft ramp into the normal experience as you progress over the first hour or two. If this is your first time playing, we recommend that you start with it. You can turn it off later from the options menu. All right, yeah, we're going to rock with it since this is our first game. So new objectives, explore your surroundings. Okay, so here's what the map looks like. All right, let's see what we got going here. This is some big woods. I love these graphics, actually. Look how thick those trees are. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so let's get this figured out here. Zoom in here. So we got a bunch of supplies on the ground. All right, I love you because I'm excited for a new beginning. Co, so we can uh, assign a job. It looks like. Okay. Oh, let's do the uh, let's do the tutorial up here. Exploring your surroundings. W A S D for movement. Got it. Okay. Okay. Halt the passage of time. Spacebar to pause. Space to resume. Santa, noble of the merchant swallows. We'll need wood to build shelter. Greatness. Captain of the merchant swallows. Of course, Hagar. To start, I'll mark a few nearby trees. Issue the cut command, and we'll take them down. Okay, so you got some trees marked. Somewhere, there they are. Okay, so let's find the cut command. Select highlighted trees and issue the cut command. So here's one of them, right? Can I? Let's see if we can just do it easily. Select oak tree times eight. I mean, I don't count eight there, but that's got to be them, right? There we go. And then select the cut command right there. Boom. Oh, I need one more. I missed a tree in this mess somewhere. I think it was this one. Select the highlighted trees. I still didn't get the right ones. Okay, we're just going to do a wide mark. Select the oak trees, 23 of them. I still, I'm missing one. How am I missing one? That doesn't make any sense. This is early alpha, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not familiar with that, you're going to run into small bugs every once in a while. I'm not saying this is a bug. I mean, let's be completely honest. It probably is. Because I really don't see any trees I didn't select. But who knows?
it might be these true trees right here it's hard to tell we got credit look so it worked so just a little display bug it looks like so i do wonder why only santa's cutting is that i'm assuming i have to assign oh there's rig we'll need a shelter if we're to survive the amazingness Makes sense. If you lay out the plans for a building, I'll build it. It's probably best to start modest, something that's say a four by four. The, that'll give us space for our stuff and some beds. All right, so now I've built a shelter. Click on this structure. Floors, wood floors. Okay, a four by four, I think, right, maybe right here. All right, so there we got our building started. Build structure. Walls, okay. Wood. There we go, got our walls up. Okay, go back. Doors, yes. I'm going to put a door right there and a door right there. Pretty easy to build. Uh, very uh, snap to point, no no issues. And a roof. Okay, this is the big point, right? Roofs can be very difficult sometimes. But that was not. Love it. Ah, there's your view. Look, we get rid of trees, I bet. Boom. That's awesome. All right, it's got a little bit more finished here. We now need to choose furniture from the build menu. And we're going to choose beds. Put four down, plan for the future, right? Control the flow of time. This is your speed down here, right? You can control it with one, two, and three. And four. And two's back to normal. Almost got those trees cleared out of there, didn't that's awesome. All right, now we need to rush construction. I assume that means if I speed it up. Oh no, this is what it means. Hold on. Ah, so you can actually rush build build command. Okay, let's do it. Objective. Place stockpile for storage. Hey, you got a new button. All right. Let's see, I want to keep it around this stuff. Actually, I wouldn't mind just picking this stuff up. Let's see if that works. See what happens. me to left click on the stock file and allow items okay done and done rid of it so we'll just allow all 
but I messed that up there. Made them all move all that stuff, didn't I? Oops. Did learn, I guess. Alright, choose lighting from the build. Okay, let's go back here. Lighting. Choose torch. I don't see torch, huh? Choose walls, then choose torch. Table. Look like it has to be inside. I don't, I mean, normally you'd think a workbench wouldn't be inside. We're gonna put it over here by the this stuff, I think. I'll actually scoot it up against the wall, I think. There we go. Portraits to track your people. Hey, Santa leveled up. Hagger can level up. That's pretty cool. So it actually put wind on its own, which is, in my opinion, kind of cool. Probably might annoy some people they can't change it. Maybe you can, too. Alright, double-click the portrait to jump to it. Let's rush this one. Greatness, we need more wood. Ah, uh, yes. Fallen logs are a great source of wood, too. Mark a few for gathering and we can chop them up. Alright, let's see. Alright, here. Oh, you can just hit E on it. There we go. Uh, let's clear this one out and this out. We're going to definitely be building more that way. I clicked all these individuals and I could just select the group, but whatever. We got it. Uh, look at this portrait up there. He's actually, you can see what he's doing physically chopping. That's hilarious. Say it has to be outside, but 
Seems weird building it inside. Alright, select a character. Right click to go to a location. out of sleep. I don't know if you got it done first or not. Well, you got one guy sleeping outside. One guy just sleeping on the floor, I think, so the bed's not done, and one actually in a bed. So, there we go. Alright, we're back. We took a little break there in between the cuts. You won't know that though watching this video, will you? Hey, I do want to mention, though, this game comes out December 14th. If you're interested in it, add it to your wish list right now so you don't forget. Uh, so far, I am absolutely loving this game. And also, if you don't mind, you're enjoying the content. Thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe. Help us out. We're always looking to grow our community. So we got everybody taking a nap right now. We're going to speed things up because there's honestly nothing we can do here. we got trees to be cut down. We need to get rid of this big log. Let's go ahead and get that going. I wonder if I need to collect food. I'm assuming I have, but the tutorial hasn't told me to yet. And that was kind of what I was waiting on. I know we had some food to start with, but I don't see it now. Cotton. Cotton seed. I, I think we may actually be out of food. New objective. Okay, hold on. Slow things down here. Normal speed. Shift and left click to add a selection. Shift and left click to add a selection. Don't quite understand what that means. Add to selection. I mean, yeah, I get that, I guess. I guess if I... Oh, I, I bet you, like, if I select this tree, you can hit shift and select these as well. Yeah, there we go. That's what it means. Okay. I already got those marked to cut, but we'll go ahead and cut them again. Okay, we got that done. Um, double click to select a visible type. I think that... Yeah, there you go. That's cool. Okay. All right, let's resume back to speed. Everybody needs to get woken up here. There we go. New objective again. Select the crafting table. Okay, I've already done that because I made the crafting table before it told me to right here. Uh, click add task. Okay, let's do this. Choose a cloth tunic. There it is. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and make the re, I assume, right? Everybody wants some. All right, there we go. People are really napping long. Man, Rig's out of bed early getting stuff done. There's Santa. Santa just woke up. He's cutting down some wood. All right. I mean, look at this. The fact that that's getting smaller and wood's thrown off of it, that's pretty pretty awesome. Tells you they've really taken some time and made these systems that you don't necessarily need or see in a lot of games like these, right? You just cut a tree and boom, you get logs instantly and it just disappears. This game does it quite a bit differently, which I love. All right, he's back to building the bed. Did you get that thing finished? You got somewhere to nap. Is he done? I think it's done. All right, we're gonna we're gonna focus these as well because we need four beds. Well, we need three beds. We won't focus that last one. That way they all have somewhere nice to sleep. And I I'm betting we're gonna have to pick some berries, but I'm gonna I'm still gonna wait for the tutorial. Let's see what happens here. Oh, what happened here? Insignificant stone. Insufficient stone. Not insignificant, different. Okay. I used to play a game called Stone Hearth that this game reminds me a lot of. Um, it was a little more janky than jankety than this though. This is pretty smooth. Uh, again, this is an early version, so 
you know, right now as I'm recording this, uh, the game's not out for another week. So, you know, they a lot of early access titles like this, you see major patches come in a week or two before. So I'm impressed so far. I haven't ran into any bugs that I've noticed and I think it works really well. So yeah, I'm enjoying the hell of this. Oh, you finished the fourth one. All right, so we got our beds done. There's our light. I bet, he's, I bet he's waiting on the tunic. Oh, something happened. You noticed a gear above someone's head when they've been assigned something that they don't know how to do yet. It may look like they're idle, but rest assured that they're hard at work figuring it out. Left click on the character to check on their progress. Oh my god, that's awesome. So he doesn't know how to do it, so he's going to actually learn it. So left click on him to learn the progress. Okay. Learning butcher table, 1%. Okay, I love that. This is awesome. It's, co it's going up a little bit, right? I mean, we're at normal speed here. Uh, let's, let's look at this environment. I haven't really looked around very much, to be honest. What is this? Is that some stone? It is stone. Look at that. Okay, that might be our... Well, we got stone right here, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and have them start gathering it, even though it hasn't told me yet, because I know my fire pit here needs it. it can I pick these up? Oh, it's copper. I got copper just laying around. It's weird, right? So look, this is everything in this area. Yeah, pick that up. Rush, gather, gather. I'm just, yeah, gather it up. Pick it up. Uh, we don't want to put them like a mess. What if we have guests over here? Come on, guys and girls and non-binaries. I think I think everybody's a non-binary here. Oh, no. Hagger, my leader's a female. That's what it was. Uh, okay. oh, look at over here. Look at this. Some deer just roaming around. A doe and a buck. Excellent. Well, look at this. Ah, that's cool. So, apparently, you can get underwater to get the resources, I bet. Okay, so is that fog of war or is this the end of the map, I wonder? That I'm not quite sure of. Looks like it's in the map, but we won't know until we explore. Hey, Rig, the amazest. I've surveyed our surroundings. There are no, a number of berry bushes that we can forge for food. Oh, pick the ones you want us to forge and we'll take care of the rest. There's our food I was waiting on, right? Now we know. Okay, let's do this quick tip to get back. There we go. All right, Hagger's fine. Let's get these going. So we're going to select the the berries. I'm going to forge. We don't want to cut them down. Is there any more berries? I thought there were some. Yeah, here's oh, here's a bunch. Look at that. Okay. They're smaller. I wonder if it matters. Forge. That should give us some berry food for a while, huh? Some right there as well. Look at that. A whole group of deer. Wow, that's a lot. Lots of stone up here. We got like a Mini Mountain. Alright, so we got that going. How, how's the progress going there? Oh, look, he's got a little bar right there above his head. Yeah, 43%. That's got to be it. That's awesome. Santa can level up. Alright, Santa. I think that's two for Santa. Right? Let's see here. Yep. Level up. Health level three. Excellent. Oh, we got berries now. Do, do we make the the tunics? No? wonder what happened to that. What did I get? If I need to sign somebody that, maybe. I've desired... What's it say? I've deserted the evil springs. Oh, I couldn't read it fast enough. I don't know what that was meant to be. Very cool. Alright, we'll speed things up here. We're just picking berries and things. Okay, now they're picking up the copper. Oh, something happened. Kino, Pasha of the Evil Springs. So, we finally caught up to you, Captain Hagger. Did you think Posh Kino was going to let you leave the Evil Springs without consequences? We won't rest until you pay for your treachery. Prepare to die. The Amazonist. Pasha Kino is taking over the Evil Springs. Huh, wonder if they'll want to end this war. 
Perhaps they'll choose to push even harder. Thanks. Let's see how it plays out. Evil Springs are raiding us. New objective. Command the battlefield. Select members of your kingdom. Okay, we can do that. Maybe. Rig. You ready to do this, buddy? Okay. Enlist the selected character. Okay, so where's enlist? Enlist. There we go. Uh, enlist selected characters. Push hostiles. Hold zone. Okay, so I'm going to enlist. Clank. Uh, I assume you're going to be a melee. I, mean, I don't have any weapons. Oh, he's got his arms out. He's ready. Okay, push hostiles. Oh, there he is. So P to push hostiles. Okay. Um, L to hold position. Right click to target. Hagger took a beating. We got him. Evil Springs are retreating. Man, that's a lot of blood. All right, so turn your enlisting off. Get back to New York. Oh, we're going to store the body. That is awesome. Kino, Posh of Evil Springs. Corpse health, 80. I could butcher him. Oh, my goodness. Bury. So I don't think we're ready to, to butcher anybody here. Let's go ahead and bury him. No grave available. Okay, well, we got to figure that out. I, I know I've seen that earlier. Build graves. There we go. Basic. I mean, we got to form a graveyard already, I guess. Like, I don't want it in the middle of my town, though. Man, I don't know. Maybe we'll start it over here. Is that far enough away? But not too far away? One of those deals, I guess. All right, there we go. Oh, he's actually mining that copper. I'd assume he's, I assumed it was his nuggets on the ground, I guess. All right, let's see what he does. Where did, uh... oh, Hagger went to rest. Okay, he's, uh, he's got his ass beat there. Oh, somebody leveled up. Two people leveled up, and I missed it. Hagger leveled up. Okay. Rig leveled up. Building one up, not much, huh? Do we dig the grave? What's going on here? What are you doing, Rig? Oh, I guess I did tell him to harvest that. Maybe we need that for the grave. What are you doing? Saying, like, there's lots of work to be done here. He's just relaxing and idling? Uh. So he's good at logging. Okay, now he's going to work. Okay. He's just taking a break, I guess. I guess that's okay. We'll allow it today. What's your guys' favorite colony management game? I know probably going to see a lot of Rim Worlds, but uh, I'm a sucker for these games. Love them. So post that comment below. Let me know what your favorite is. Maybe it's even one I haven't played. But I doubt it. I played almost all of them. Tell you what I have a hard time with is I love multiplayer games, so. Colony Sims are almost always single player, right? There's a few out there that isn't, though. And uh, I do enjoy those quite a bit. But I usually get sucked into some kind of multiplayer game, and I leave I leave what I'm currently playing for. Hey, he's eating. I don't care for axes, okay. Always oh, opening something. What do you got there? Travel mills. Oh, he's going he's gonna to eat the good stuff. You're not going to eat the berries, huh? Rig, you going to bed? What are you doing? Oh, he's eating travel rations too. Okay. Poor old Santa's just stuck eating the berries. Guess we see how it is, huh? What's that say now? I deserted the evil spring something. Yeah, you did, because they're evil. They're, I mean, it's evil's in the title. It's evil. All right, we're going to speed things up. A little bit of downtime. Oh, what, what is Rick? What was Rick doing? Oh, is he back to learn? Oh, no. That reset to zero when I got the battle? Oh, wait. Okay, no, Hagger took back over. Okay. I'm going to learn it here almost. Boom! Look at him. He's butchering things. This is excellent. 
Oh, no, is he doing? Is he make? Oh, he's making our cloth. Yes. All right. Oh, you, I think you put it down. This is energetic, isn't he? Making the other one. Oh, that's not the tunic. Where's the tunic at? I thought you said it right there, buddy. Slow things down here because I'm not seeing these tunics. Let's see where he puts this thing. Oh. Oh, they have different attributes. Look at that. Cloth tunic of digging. Wait, 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 wait. How do I how do I equip this on you guys? Oh, there it is. Okay. Belongings. Cloth tunic of digging. Plus one mining. Postures cloth. Posters cloth tunic. Plus one hauling. I think this is good on him. Okay, hold on, Rig. Properties. Nope, not properties. What did I click on a second ago? Oh, here it is. Belongings. I'm looking at Rig now. Can I see his stats from here? Let's then give it to him, I guess. Santa, you just get the the basic one, I guess, because they don't have any bonuses on it, but whatever. The question is, do they have it equipped? It doesn't have an E there. Well, he's already got a cloth tunic. He's got that one, though. Sit on the ground? I'm so confused. So he's got his on. Rick's got his on. I don't get it. Preferred. This one's done. Okay. I like how they have special abilities, and when you craft stuff, special attributes. Speak to your people. Right, left click the ruler. Okay, the ruler. That's Hagger. Right click someone to speak and ask their mind. Oh, nice. Look at that. Serve a conversation with Santa. Ask what's on their mind. There we go. What is on your mind? I hate the Evil Springs because the Evil Springs are at war with us. What else can you tell me about Evil Springs? Didn't click that on purpose. Pastor Okino declared war with you. Gosh dang it. Keep hitting the wrong button. There are a few things worse than human leather. What else is on your mind? I like human leather. What can you tell me about human leather? What else can you tell me about human leather? Hi. Nothing. Conversation with Santa asks what's on their mind. Advanced topics. Ask about, share information about. Interesting. All right. Good conversation there, my friend. I think. Felt good. Felt real good. All right, guys. I think that is a great stopping point for our first video. I usually try to make my videos about you know, lunch time long, if that makes sense. Hopefully I entertained you. Uh, I appreciate any support you can give and have yourself a great day.